Hello and welcome to JS2. So today we are going to see about JS and remote sensing exit exam questions with the answers of part two. In the previous section, we have seen that in part one related to remote sensing and JS that you are going you are going to use as a reference material for your exit exams in order to score better results. So. So in part one, we have seen is 26 questions with their answers. Therefore, we are going to proceed with uh, question number 27. Which of the following parameters using JSA are correlated to represent an Earth's physical location? So which uh, JS application, which JS application is used to express Earth's physical location? A location itself, B spatial temporal, SPS build, as well as uh, Temporal or time based uh, locations, the extent reference the all of the above. So the answer is all of the above. That means it can use to express location, a spatial temporal extent, as well as extent reference in terms of coordinate systems. Question number 28 JS captures and analyzes blank data. A energy source transition of signal, propagation of signal, B spatial, C geographic. D, both A and B. So, in terms of uh, energy source, uh, transmission, uh, signal propagation of signal, uh, and spatial data as well. So, the answer is A and B, both the spatial and the energy source. Question 28. The correct sequence of transmission of electric matter waves in remote sensing system can be given as so in remote sensing, we have electromagnetic radiation that comes from the source of energy towards the reflectance of energy or the target surface. So which one of the following is the correct, the correct sequence of uh, energy? So A, energy source transmission of signal, propagation of signal, B, transmission of signal, propagation of signal, energy source, C, propagation of signal, transmission of signal, energy source, the energy source propagation signal transmission signal so the correct sequence is d there is energy source there is propagation of energy so after propagation of energy there is transmission of signal there is transmission of signal okay great question number 13 which one of the following is not a classification of scattering principle a friday scattering b relay scattering c my scattering so uh, it is a part of uh, scattering principle. It is not a part of scattering principle. Is that uh, it is uh, Friday scattering? Friday scattering is not available as in scattering principle. Okay. Question number thirty-one of the following national and global mapping initiatives may not include one. Which one is it? A global forest cover watch, P ISO 19105, geographic information metadata, C open geospatial constraint, and C content standard for digital geospatial metadata. So it is not global uh, mapping initiative. The answer is uh, C. This stands for not global mapping initiative rather than it is a standardization of uh, geographic uh, geospatial data. So it is only standardization. That means it is, that means it is not a global mapping initiative project. Okay, question number thirty-two. Why the watershed management approach is appropriate means of natural resource management? As you know, natural resource in order to manage natural resources, one of the key approach is watershed management principle. So which one is appropriate answer? A, water is flowed from upstream to downstream. B, soil erosion is not followed from downstream to upstream. C, degradation of upstream is cause of fragile downstream. D, to protect agroecology of ZAP, ZAP and the downstream. So it is a degradation of upstream is the cause of fragile downstream. So if there is a degradation in the upstream water, there is fragile and inconsistent approach in the downstream. So the answer is C. Question 33. The main objective of watershed management is blank. So what is the main, major, uh, the main objective or what is the goal of watershed management in general? A. To improve the livelihood, the livelihood, uh, the living standards of upstream community. B. Using the watershed for irrigation purpose. C. To develop more than one resource at a time. D. To increase the influence of natural and man-made uh, test traps. So the answer is 
to develop more than one resource at a time. Okay, great. Question number 34. If you are assigned to perform irrigation suitability analysis for Anger watershed, which JS function is appropriate to compute suitability analysis? So you are, uh, as a JS expert, you are assigned to uh, perform a irrigation suitability analysis in using JS and remote sensing approach for a certain watershed, in this case for Anger watershed. So what is your uh, appro uh, appro appropriate approach? A neighborhood function, B measurement function, C network function, D overlay function. So the answer should be overlay function. This overlay function is computed based on a multi-criteria analysis approach. That is multi-criteria decision making analysis. So in order to compute suitability analysis for this watershed, you have to consider several factors uh, such as rainfall, elevation uh, um, and climate data as well. So that is uh, topographic data uh, as well as uh, land use land cover data and climate data in general. So in order to combine this, we have used overlay functions. So uh, this overlay function is uh, comes from the driving of uh, multi-criteria uh, uh, multi analysis. Okay, great. Question number 35, from the remote sensing data resolution, which one is used to identify the status of healthy and unhealthy crops? So, status of healthy and unhealthy crops, A, spatial resolution, B, radiometric resolution, C, spectral resolution, D, temporal resolution. So, the answer is spectral resolution. This is spectral resolution is uh, a resolution for identifying of uh, a resolution of bands, how uh, things can be detected with uh, within bands. So this is spectral resolution. Question number 36. No, nowadays, nowadays, agriculture sustainability and productivity is a key issue worldwide, as it is expected to feed 8 billion people. In another side, climate change and land degradation are challenging to overcome this and achieve agricultural sustainability. What activity should be performed at different scales and Stack stakeholders. A use advanced technology, B use natural resources effectively, C use on one land for more than one purpose, D apply effective watershed uh, management. So the answer is apply uh, effective watershed management. Apply effective watershed management. Okay, great. Question 37 to say one geographic area is suitable for another or not. What criteria is needed to be fulfilled? A. Availability and proximity of river. B. Availability of road and town. C. Availability of fertile soil. D. The transaction of stated criteria. So it is the intersection of stated criteria is the correct answer. Question number 38. Suppose that the Oromia Agricultural Office went to study drought status of Purna zone. Which satellite mostly common to be used? A. Spotex. B. Moristera. D. Abechar. D. Aster, Terra, and so the answer is Morris. This Morris is the temporal resolution of Morris is very nice. So, in order to analyze uh, drought resistance, this temporal resolution or time based resolution is very vital. In this case, Morris satellite image is preferable for drought studying. Okay, great. Question number 39. Uh, suppose our agriculture went to study drought status of Purana zone, which satellite is mostly going to be used? So this is a recommended question, that is Maurice Terra. Uh, question 40 from the following one is not true uh, about thin or triangular regular networks. A, it is vector-based model that represents continuous surface. B, the area of all triangles across the grid presenting terrain are the same. C, it is made up of non-overlapping triangles or vertices. D, the inclination of terrain is assumed to be constant within each triangle. So the answer is, the answer is the areas of triangles across the spread terrains are the same. It is not the same. It is not the same. Question 41. Question 41. It is the process of measuring distance and calculating prints. A. Triangulation. B. Trilateration. C. Traversing. T. Triangulate. Trilateration. So this is uh, trilateration. It is distance and calculating brings. So trilateration. Question number 42. Blank is a process of selecting information by k logical questions. 
Blank is a process selective by asking child quite questions. In ArcGIS, ArcMap, there are a process of selection, attribute selection, and special selection. So in this case, we have, we have attribute query or attribute selection. It is a question of the, by, uh, by querying uh, different uh, equations. Question 43, which one of the following is not basic? Vector based analysis over toolset. A extract by mask, B intercept, C raise D identity. So extract by mask is vector based analysis. It is not uh, extract by mask is raster based analysis rather than vector based analysis, but others are vector based analysis. Question 43 from the four main areas in tool dialog box that are used to create map algebra expression. Which one is allow you to enter numeric values in the expression? A layers and variables, B expression, C calculator buttons, D tools. So this is calculator buttons. 44. From the following advanced spatial analysis, one is used to find the path with the minimum cumulative imp uh, impedance between nodes on a network. A cost distance analysis, B short spatial analysis, C downward water operation, D spatial operation. So this is the short spatial analysis. That means to find the path between a minimum cumulative that's between on network. So in, in case of network analysis, this is called shorter distance analysis. 45. Which type of JS model used a logical expression to select special features from composite features, layers, multiple grids, a binary model, index model, regression model, process model? So the answer is binary model. 46. From the following alternatives, one is false about the use of remote sensor for forest resource assessment. Which one? A thermal remote sensing is used in detection study and management of biomass burning occurring in open vision fires. B leader is used for deep setting forest and the standard stand structures for the vertical and horizontal profile of tourists, D for, and other forest linter variables. C multispectral imagery optical remote sensing can successfully measure the vertical structure of forests. So in in terms of uh, forest resource management, we can use multispectral remote sensing, that is multispectral imagery in optical remote sensing types. So the answer is C. Okay, great. This hyperspectral data means hyper, there is aspects hyperspectral remote sensing. In hyperspectral remote sensing, hundreds of bands are available, which is used to identify a, a significant uh, variation uh, of uh, in order to identify forest uh, distribution and forest uh, density rather than forest resource management in general. But in, in terms of forest management in general, multispectral uh, remote sensing is are very vital. Okay, great. 48, 47. From the following information requirements of forest resource management, which one deals with survey of the location, composition, and distribution of forest resources? A forest compartment, B forest boundary, C forest inventory summary, D forest types or stratification. From the following information requirements, forest resource management, which one deals with survey of location, composition, distribution of forest? So in, in survey of location distribution, we have forest inventory summary. Forest inventory summary that is counting of foresters in terms of their distribution and locations. Okay, great. 48. Which statement is correct uh, about forest fire? A forest fire is one of the major global environmental issues causing havoc or disaster. B forests are caused due to natural and man made reasons. C fire detection and monitoring can be done by satellite sensors like NOAA, Avaker, Demister, Terra, Morris, Landsat, Spot, and uh, uh, the like. So all the given inter uh, alternatives are correct. So from the remote sensing perspective, this, the listing remote sensing types can be detected and uh, for forest fires caused to natural man-made features. Okay, 49. The components of the forest management information system include all of the following except one. A, monitoring information system. B, geographic information system. C, Im image processing system. D, not mentioned. So, in terms of forest management information system, all of the following are components. That is, there is monitoring of forests, there is geographical information system applied on monitoring of forests, so there is image processing systems, so D is not mentioned. Okay, great. 
50 which are the following national global mapping initiatives may not include one which one is it so this is a repetition question which is uh iso 90 51 an airborne leader has gained popularity for tree mapping in the 20th century because all of the following reasons except one a all points in a leader point cloud are often affected by sun illumination conditions b the basis of detecting trees from leader data is the three d shape of the trees whereas the photo or the mid bs tree detection replies on the basic brightness variations with three crowds see all points in leader point could Cloud are accurately you referenced in 3D, whereas pixels in an image or photo are projected to 2D with distortion. D, the leader can provide direct estimates of the tree height, whereas it is much more uh, difficult to do using imagery. So the answer is all points in leader points are uh, often affected by sun illumination conditions. So these sun illumination conditions cannot affect the leader conditions. Okay, great. 52. All of the following data source play main roles in estimating biomass except one. A. Satellite imagery. B. GIS data layers. C. Georeference ground data. D. Attribute report data. So, all of the following data source play main roles in estimating biomass except satellite imagery, GIS data layers, Georeference data ground data, attribute or report data. So, attribute or report data is not a part of uh, estimating biomass in terms of GIS and remote six. So thank you for watching, we will continue in part 3.